Oscar Wilde said, In America, the president reigns for four years, and journalism governs forever and ever. The press's power to influence politics is obvious. So how do you get your policy in the press? Stick around to find out. Hi, everyone. I'm David Smith, and I run in Thrive Advocacy Solutions, your solution for lobbying, advocacy, and strategic planning. Before launching this firm, I was leading advocates in Virginia, and we brought real changes to our criminal justice system. Also worked for a senior legislator in the House of Delegates where I ran her commerce and energy docket. Now, I'm bringing what I've learned through mentors and hard knocks to you. Welcome to Better Advocacy in 10 Minutes or Less, a series of videos helping you become a better advocate so you can turn your passion into policy. Today, we're exploring four steps for media coverage. Now, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know me, and I don't like to keep you waiting. So here are the four steps for media coverage. First, identify and build relationships with reporters. Next, create press releases. Then, be media ready. And finally, invite media to your events. All right, let's get started. So in order to influence politicians through media coverage, you need to identify the press your targeted politicians pay attention to. Now, it doesn't help you if a story about the need for your policy proposal runs in an outlet that they're not paying attention to. Now, in a future video, I'll talk about the hierarchy of media influence and drop a link here, but we'll keep it brief right now. So highest up on this hierarchy is your state's major newspapers, followed by your targeted politician's local paper. Then comes television, either in your capital city or in your target media market. And the lowest are those online only outlets. If you want more detail about this hierarchy, check out my video on it. Uh, once I make it, uh, there will be a link to it here. Now that you've identified your targeted media, you want to see who is reporting on issues similar to yours. Search for articles in your area of advocacy or adjacent to it and see if there's a name that keeps coming up on the byline. Usually there will be one reporter that focuses on your issue. Reach out to that reporter, thank them for their work, tell them about your area of work and offer your experience and expertise. Reporters are often scrambling with short deadlines and if they know they can go to you for a quote or background information, then you'll become a trusted source. As you build rapport with the reporter, then you'll be able to pitch your own ideas and they'll listen to you. This is free press from an unbiased source. Now, you're not always able to build that relationship as quickly as you need. This is when you need to create a press release. Now, a press release is basically you giving the reporter all the details they need for a news story plus a hook that shows them why this story is important to their readers. No, no, not money. So let's say if a national org has just released a study about your issue, do a press release that highlights the problem in your community and how your policy proposal will make things better. That's the hook. If there has been something in the headlines that's beginning a lot of media attention and you have a unique perspective to your state or community, use that. It doesn't have to be worthy of a headline in the Washington Post, or in the Wall Street Journal. You want to give them a story that is unique and will draw their readers and your politicians' attention. Now, there are plenty of press release templates online and folks will charge you to write one for you. But you can write your own by including the five W's of journalism. That's who, what, when, where, and why. And once again, I'll go into more detail on this in another video. And I'll be sure to drop a link here for it once I make that video. All right. So getting press isn't just about getting these stories to them. It's about being media ready. Now, we're not talking about always having your stage makeup on and being in your best TV clothes, though, if you want to live that way, I'm not going to discourage it. What we're talking about 
is having an understanding of what the press may want and being ready to provide that information to them when they reach out to you. You want to have studies and reports documenting the issue your policy proposal will fix. You want folks that are impacted by this problem that are articulate so they can share their story directly to the media. You want clippings, not literal clippings from newspapers, but articles you've saved that other reporters have published about your topic so this reporter will have an understanding of what's been covered and what questions still need to be answered. You want to make their job as easy as possible. If you can provide them with everything they need to write the article, then you're more likely to have them write the article. Finally, to get press coverage, you should always be inviting press to your events. This may sound self-evident, but if you're in the midst of planning your event and confirming speakers and venue and other things, it's easy to forget about the press. So how do you invite the press? If you have a working relationship with a reporter, send them a casual email with event details and why it would make a good story. If you don't, then you send them a more formal press release where you're pitching them the story they would get by covering your event. Not every media outlet will show up at your event. But for those that do, make sure you welcome them. Give them the run of show so they know what to expect. Listen to their questions and answer them to the best of your ability. If they want to talk to certain people, make those introductions and be sure to thank them for attending. When they run the piece on your event, send them a note saying you saw it and appreciated it. If you have an idea for a follow-up story, pitch that to them in this email too. If you do that after every story, you'll have a steady pipeline of media coverage on your policy proposal that will influence politicians and help turn your passion into policy. All right, so there you have it. The four steps of media coverage. Identify and build relationships with reporters. Create press releases. Be media ready and invite media to your events. Thank you so much for watching this short training on how to get press coverage. Like and subscribe to the Thrive Advocacy channel to get notifications of new videos. Be sure to check back every Friday for a new Better Advocacy in 10 Minutes or Less video.